Let's talk about how to thank your PTO and PTA volunteers, like the people who are coming in and giving up their time in any way, in like at any level. It doesn't matter if they are just helping out one time or if they are a consistent volunteer. Like one of the things that's super important for your PTO and PTA to be doing in order to hang on to those volunteers is to be acknowledging those helpers for their contributions. And I think it's great to be a little over the top about it because it really is a true expression of how I feel about them giving back. Like I think it's a great thing. All too often, the time that we spend volunteering for PTO things goes unrecognized or sometimes we don't feel like it might be worth it because we're like, does anybody even recognize that I'm giving up dinner with my family or that I'm switching things around to like juggle all the things to make it work? Like, are they acknowledging that it's not just as simple as bringing in snacks for the staff meeting? Like you had to plan the snacks and make sure that you have vegan and gluten-free options and maybe kosher options too, and then figure out how to get them to school on time and figure out how to, you know, what they would like and how many people you're buying for and all the things. Like it takes some planning to make all this happen. And so you just want to acknowledge your volunteers for all that they're doing because there is no I in PTO. Nope, nope, nope. It It is a team effort. And so the best way to keep people a part of your team is to acknowledge them. And I have some suggestions on easy ways that you can make this happen. So I've shared before about just like if you have an event that you can just take pictures of your volunteers at your event and then share them online to give them like a shout out. The other thing you can do if you forgot to take pictures, then I actually designed these really cute little graphics and I've printed them out here because I want to encourage you to use these bad boys for a multitude of ways. There are multiple ways that you can use these graphics so you can print them out. They're available individually so that you can use them. They're all separate images that you can just upload them onto social media and then go ahead and tag your volunteers. Like after every single event, I would totally be tagging the people that made that event happen, naming and claiming it, baby, and making sure that they know that their efforts are appreciated. And you can even and go ahead and tag your, if you have event sponsors, you can thank them with the, one of these cute graphics. And the nice thing about tagging their friends or tagging your volunteers is that their friends and family are going to see it and they will probably get kudos from them, which will just make them feel, give them the nice, make them feel great and give them nice, warm, fuzzy feelings and be happy that they were volunteering. You're taking the time to make it known how much you appreciate their efforts and they're going to want to do it again, I bet because I know that totally works for me if I get a nice shout out. The next way that you can use these guys is to print them out and you can, I've just printed them here onto like little copy paper. You can also print them out onto heavier cardstock paper if you want them to come out like a little note card and you can write a message on the back. Like I haven't trimmed these out. They're just printed and this is how they will come when you print them. So you can write a little note on the back. You can also use them as gift tags and just put a little hole at the top, punch a hole, thread some ribbon through and write a note on the back. I think they're really super cute. And they there are several tags that really talk about teamwork. So it's not strictly volunteer focused. Like these will also work for staff and teacher appreciation too. So it's a really great graphic set that you can buy one time and use forever because there are so many different graphics in all. I think there's 17 different graphics. So yeah. So go ahead. If you haven't yet checked them out, I will drop a link here. I'm trying to get in front of me and like the worst on camera, literally. It's like I've had zero camera training and apparently that's a problem. (laughs) So anyways, uh, go check these out. They are super cute and uh, people will love them. Hope that this is giving you some different ways that you don't have to spend a lot of money. That's what the great thing about this. This is very inexpensive to do. Like I said, you buy the kit one time and you have it forever. There's so many different styles. There's something for literally every occasion. So it's a really nice resource to have that you can use either personally or for just your PTO. So like you could get this and just do this out of the kindness of your own heart that you love to see the contributions from your fellow PTO volunteers and leaders. And so, yeah, so I hope you love this idea. I hope it inspires you to reach out and tell your volunteers, thank you, and just give them like a little note of appreciation because it really doesn't take a lot. 
your your little notes, your little words of encouragement really do go a long way and it will really help your PTO in the long run. Hope that this has been helpful in giving you some ideas about how you can shower your volunteers with some love and hope you join me for the next video too. Want even more guidance on how to be a stronger leader so you can run a better PTO or PTA? All of these resources and more are waiting for you at ptoanswers.com.